Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace Career Mode series. This is going to be episode 8, I believe. We got this lineup. Wow, we have certainly progressed very far since the first day of the Premier League season. Of course, Noir is going to go down in rating, considering uh, he's 37 years of age. But uh, all I can hope for is that I do not have to replace him with my Richards. Uh, since he's 78 rated because I think we're going to be attempting to get Champions League football. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and say this now. This is the season finale. Let's see if we, over the course of Sim Games, can go ahead and try to make top four or at least top five. I really want to play some European football next season. In honor of this young man, one of my favorite Welsh players, one of my favorite Premier League players when Bournemouth was in the Premier League, David Brooks is going to be certainly bought by us for next season if we have the allocated funds. I love this guy. He might be a backup, but you know, I hope you heal up soon. And I hope you survive this cancer. This is David Brooks. Good luck, my man. All right. I would also like to announce the pre-contract signing Kyle Walker. I did put him on a release clause of 30 million because I don't want him to replace anybody, but I would still like to get money from him and he'll be joining our club for the next season of the Crystal Palace career mode. Let's go ahead and enter our first game of the episode. Go ahead and drop a like. Go ahead and drop a comment if you have any recommendations in terms of transfers or player position changes. But we're going to send this one against Liverpool because it's honestly probably going to be a loss here. As expected, Liverpool is the best team in the league right now. Henderson, Carrera, and Virgil van Dijk scoring against us. Next, we got a game against Tottenham, which is looking like a very strong side. But I think it's probably going to be a draw or a win for us here. It's going to be a draw, as first predicted, Edward and Son scoring. Next, we got a game against Burnley, which I think it's pretty much a win for us. I'm going to start with Luce and Jeremy Pino. And it's going to be another draw for us, Edward and Darwin scoring, Darwin Nunes, I think. Honestly, we need to start converting some of these win draws into wins, because now we are out of the top four race. We still have a game in hand, so if we win this game, which is very possible, we could still make a Champions League place. We just really got to get on good form. This is the side we're going to start against Watford. Oh, they got Luza, Tom Cleverly, Josh King, Holtzek, Lingard. Should be an easy game for us. I would only believe so. And it's going to be T.O. Wayne, Mikiel, Elise, and Eze scoring. Let's go. There's a side we're going to line up against Arsenal. I think we should get a win here considering their goalkeeper is very bad and their left back. Overall, I think we should win this game. Let's see what happens though. Okay, Lillian Thurum and Piatek score in within 20 minutes of each other. Um, as a, And we struggle to score in the second half, so let's move on to the next game. As you can see, we still got a game in hand. We are 35 games played, 64 points, but so is the Spurs. But even if we get all three points here, it won't be amount in much to whoever's in fourth place. But we really need to make the push. We need to win the last of our games. Next, we got a game against Aston Villa, which we are going to watch, and I'll um, I'll uh, cut in and out on the um, little, little uh, highlights. So, you got Steer, Nat, Saliba, Tyron Mings, Morgan Sanson, Tuchin, Meni, McGinn, Ali Watkins, Iannaccio. It's a good side, but I think we can catch a win here. Oh, come on. Aw. Oh. And we score as they puts it up 1-0. Let's go. Excuse me, 1-0. It looks like we are running right as Villa now it's 2-0. Wilfred Zaha putting in the next goal. It's going to be the first half with Zaha and Eze scoring. Let's resume. Wilfred Zaha goes ahead and scores, and I think we can just jump to a result here. And we probably win the game. A 3-0 win against Aston Villa. That's going to help us a lot to our Champions League race. Tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, we'll win the game. 
It's been well nigh impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of the game. Basically, this is the team Crystal Palace has. This is how we're going to line up. Boyer, Lamptey, Anderson, Timber, and Omar Richards. Connor Gallagher, Pop Gay, Ismail Isar, Ebrebeshi Eze, Zaha, and Eduard up front. And on the bench, we got Olise, Pino, Slaughterbeck, Alvarez, Gonzalez, Ferguson, and I don't remember the last one. Chelsea. Oh my. Well, they have Pedro Gonzalez. Kai Havertz on the bench. Wow. And Ziyech. See what happens here at Selhurst Park. And the Many thanks as ever, Alex. Oh, in for the chance. Let's go! To give them the lead. They have their you know, we're, we're, <laughs> we're going to play some like game. We're going to have to play like some bitches this game. Right? I'm going to switch to a five at the back. And we're, we're well, let's see this again. The vision to play this Holy fuck, a jet just flew above my house. Um, well, we're going to uh, switch to a five at the back and just defend for the rest of the game. Not going to lie. Let's go! Oh, we got to come in clutch. We gotta hope Leicester Drew or lost their game. We we want Champions League football here at Sel Selhurst Park next season. We want it more than any other team. We deserve it after our great performances this season. Even though we've been lacking late season, but you know what? We got this. Oh my. They scored. You know what? We're still winning this. Well, two one it is here. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Pass after pass, happy to just Let's go! If that's a required win we need against Chelsea and hopefully we can catch a win over at Manchester United. Oh, oh god, we are gonna clinch Champions League football this season. It's gonna happen. As you can see in the league table, Leicester do have a game in hand. They're only one point behind us. But let's just hope for the best that they draw this game or we win this next game. Because honestly, we need to make Champions League football next season. This is what the table's looking like at the end of the season. Leicester have Manchester City. Oh yeah. We better hope Manchester City is on some top form because we really need City to win this game. Honestly, I think a draw would work. No, not even draw would work. We would have to score literally 11 goals against United. The most important thing, we got to win this United game. Otherwise, we are not making Champions League next season. It is pretty much confirmed that City will most likely beat Leicester. We are fucking hoping to God that they will. No, we're going to go look at the FA Cup, see if we actually could cheat our way in. And no, we can't because Aston Villa is. Aston Villa ended up beating Liverpool. All right, I'll see you guys in the Manchester United game. Let's hope for the best, guys. This is this is crunch time. Here, at Old Trafford. See if we can get some Champions League football secured for next season. One of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And with the Premier League season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Manchester United. Manchester United should just throw this game and give us the win. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals, and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. They line up for Manchester United. Who's line of Manchester United's going to run against us? Luke Shaw starts with Ricardo Pereira in the fullback positions and leading the line Move today is Cristiano Fred. Ronaldo. And Ronaldo. You know, we, Ronaldo has only scored once against us. Look at that bench. Oh my. Mason Greenwood on the bench. That's just sad. You know, maybe we should sign him. Give him some game time. We got Neuer, Lamptey, Yoshi Anderson, Timber, and Omar Richards. Connor Gallagher, Pop Gay. Ishmael Lazar is Zepeshi Eze, Wilfred Zaha, and Eduard. And on our bench, we got 
Alicia Pino slider back over Alvarez, Gonzalez, Ferguson, and Patino. Patino's been starting on her bench. She hasn't been able to, you know, get subbed in or anything, but, you know, it's all right. See what's going to happen during this match. Hopefully we can win. Good little first half from our boys against Manchester United. So back underway with United looking to plot a route back into this game. All right, it's another win. Please, Leicester. On the back of this victory. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well. Please, Leicester. Tell me you have lost, Leicester. The one time I need you to lose, Leicester. We will see. It's a draw. Ah! Wow. <sighs> Damn it. We scored more than Leicester, but we conceded nine more goals than them. Um, a disappointing season. No Champions League for us next season, which is kind of sad. I, at least I think we have no Champions League, considering we won the FA, not the FA, the EFL Cup. We may have Champions League next season. But we fall at the final hur hurdle and tie on points with Leicester City. Same record, they just have a better goal difference. I would also come here and like to announce our player of the season is yet again, Odson Eduard. This man, that season is absolutely phenomenal from an 82 rated striker. Jesus Christ. That man had 41 goal contributions in 53 games, 18 goals in the Premier League with 12 assists. That's just crazy. Zaha scoring 15 and only one assist for the 30-year-old. Uh, and you know, it's a good debut season from Ishmael Asar. Our young player of the season is yet going to be again Miko Olise. Having nine goals and one assist, he didn't get as many appearances as I thought he would. I mean, 47 is still a lot. But, you know, I, I didn't expect Pino to outscore um, almost everyone below him. Uh, at, that at least had appearances, uh, I think. Yeah, there we go. Outscore almost everyone. Well, not everyone, but outscore like a lot of the, uh, you know, the normal players in the side. Pino did score seven on loan, so we might sign him on a permanent for next season. But unfortunately, we're going to be buying David Brooks. Top sister this season is going to be Edward. Person who had the most clean sheets while starting a game would be Manuel Neuer and tied with Edward with Lamptey and Richards behind them. The most growth of the season is going to be a straight tie between Jury and Timber or Connor Gallagher. Both of them started off the season at 77 rated and both got up to an 82, so you can tell they had a really great season. Our most valuable player in the side is going to be Edson Alouard, only by 0.5, with Eze just trailing right behind him one year younger. Connor Gallagher is getting up there in price, so is Timber. Honestly, all of our values have been jumping since the very start of the career mode and. It's been great watching the player. Most paid players going to, of course, be our main man, Wilfred Zaha, who did end up going plus two while being aged 30. That is phenomenal. We're going to go ahead and give him a new contract. The goal is next season is to possibly win the Europa League or Champions League, whatever which one we're in. And if we look at the top scorers, uh, we have Edouard scoring our most goals in the Premier League. And Edouard finishing second right behind Yuri Telemans for assists. Absolutely phenomenal. I think Manuel Neuer is probably uh, one of the people in the clean sheets. He is top three, trailing behind Schmeichel, our eventual, you know, Leicester finishing right above us. I honestly thought we deserved it a little bit more. That's just my rightful opinion because, you know, I'm managing the club. As we can see here, Liverpool has won the league. Aston Villa has won the FA Cup. We won the Carabao Cup. Manchester United won the Super Cup against Milan. Barcelona square out PSG in the Champions League final. Napoli absolutely smash Monaco in the Europa League final. And Batiste beats Copenhagen in, in a 3-1 thrashing in the Euro 
Europa Conference League. Sorry, I'm not used to saying that because it's a new thing. I would like to thank everybody for watching Season 2 of the Crystal Palace Career Mode Series. It's been an absolute exciting to watch. Not to watch, but uh, edit and, you know, make the videos in general. And I hope we got Champions League football for this season. I can't see in the calendar. But I'll, um, I'll make sure to uh, start the recording for the next episode sometime today. Uh, this is the squad we're going into for Season 3. I, I, I have big aspirations for our boys here. Hopefully we got a lot of money to use for the next season. So go ahead and follow my Twitch and Twitter. Yeah, mentioned. Go ahead and follow my Twitch and Twitter. Links will be in the descriptions. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys drop a like, comment, anything you want me to buy, sign. Just go ahead and hit me up. I listen to the comments very well, as you guys can tell. All right, I'll catch y'all.